to do subtraction with no regrouping. Instead of doing this, 5,000 minus 2,384, with all the tens and nines and fours, you know, breaking it down, you can subtract one from both numbers. So instead of 5,000, you have 4,999. And instead of 2,384, you have 2,383. Then you do your subtraction without any regrouping. And voila, a nifty trick to avoid regrouping in subtraction. Number two, how to compare fractions easily. Is it less than? Is it greater than? Is it equal to? Well, here's a quick tip for comparing these fractions. If you're not sure, cross multiply. Six times six is 36, eight times five is 40, and boom, you get it now. Six eighths is less than five sixths. Number three, Japanese multiplication. Here's an easy way to do Japanese multiplication. This is Japanese multiplication 101. It's so easy that a four-year-old could do it. Two times two equals what? Well, step one is to draw some lines. Two going one way, two going the other. Now you count where those lines crossed. One, two, three, four. Two times two is four. And it works with any combination. Give it a try. Four times seven is 28. Six times two is 12. Five times five is 25, and eight times three is 24. Some of those smaller combinations are probably just easier to memorize. But when you have a larger combination, like 13 times 12 equaling 156, you may just want to break it up. Take a look. That looks easy enough. Moving on to number four. You can easily remember multiples of nine. Nine times one is nine. Nine times two is 18. Nine times three is 27. Do you see the pattern here? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 9876543210? This is something the teachers never taught us. Number five, here's how you can multiply double digit numbers by 11. Let's multiply 32 times 11. Step one, the 32 now becomes a three and a two. Step two, the three is added to two, which equals five, that's 352. What do you think about that one? Let us know in the comments below. Number six, multiplying by six, seven, eight, or nine. Now here's a trick we're all gonna wanna remember. Step number one, label your fingers. Start with the thumb at number six and the pinky at number 10. Step two, seven times eight. On one hand, you put down your number six finger and your number seven. You're left with eight, nine, 10. On your other hand, you put down fingers six, seven, and eight. So on one hand, you've got down six and seven, everything up to seven. And on the other hand, you have six, seven, and eight, everything up to eight. Now each one of these fingers put down becomes 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50, as you see in the diagram. The fingers that are left, three and two fingers, get multiplied together, which equals six. Now you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, plus six is 56. Seven times eight is 56. Number seven, multiplication strategies. Twos double, so six times two is 12. Fours double double, six times two equals 12, times two equals 24. Eights, double, double, double. Six times two equals 12, times two equals 24, times two equals 48. Zeros always equal zero. So six times zero is zero, zilch, nada. Ones always equal the other factor. So six times one, of course, is six. Fives multiply by 10, 
then split in half because five is half of 10. So seven times 10 equals seven and 70 divided by two or 70 cut in half is 35. Nines. Multiply by 10 then subtract one group. Nine times 10 equals 90. Minus nine equals 81. Tens and one hundreds. Multiply the leading numbers, then add zeros. Nine times 100 equals nine times one. Then you add those two zeros to the end. So 900. Nine times 10 equals nine times one equals nine. And then you add that zero to the end. Sixes. Multiply by five, then add one group. 9 times 5 equals 45, plus 9 equals 54. Maybe you find it easier to use one of these strategies instead of just doing it the good old-fashioned way. Here's number 8, division without dividing. Take a look at this division problem and see if you can solve it without dividing. Let us know in the comments below how you did. Number 9. Turtle head multiplication. Have you ever heard of turtle head multiplication? I certainly haven't, but I think I can get this one put together pretty easily. So you have 27 times 65. First, you want to draw a turtle's head. You'll do that around the 5, the 7, and the 2 because those are the numbers you're going to multiply first. Number 2. Multiply the number in its neck, five by seven, and then five times two. Step number three is three steps. First, check off the carried number. Then you'll want to draw a collar. You'll do this on the five. Then this turtle's gonna lay an egg. You'll do this under that second five in the fourth row. Step number four. Multiply by the other number, six times seven, then six times two. Once you've done all of that, you simply add it up. 1,755. Turtle head multiplication, an easy way to remember which comes first. Number 10, divisibility rules. A number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is even or 0. Even digits 2, 4, 6, and 8. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are divisible by 4. A number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 0 or 5. A number is divisible by 6 if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3. A number is divisible by seven, long division. Or you should learn the trick. A number is divisible by eight if the last three digits are divisible by eight. A number is divisible by nine if the sum of the digits is divisible by nine. A number is divisible by 10 if the last digit is zero. Number 11, multiplication, two digit with one digit. Here's an easy way to remember how to multiply a two digit number with a one digit number. Here we have 38 times four. First, multiply four times one's place, so four times eight, then regroup if necessary. Step number two, multiply four times tens place, four times three. Add the number that is carried over. So four times eight is, and four times three is, now add it all up. Tip number 12, multiplication two digit by two digit. Here we'll use the box method, 27 times 65. Since we're multiplying two digits by two digits, we need to make a two by two box. So you break it down. 27 is 20 plus 7, and 65 is 60 plus 5. See how it's laid out here? What you'll need to do next 
is multiply 60 times 20, then 60 times 7, then 20 times 5, and 5 times 7. After you've found the partial products, you can add them all together. So 60 times 20 is 1,200, and 60 times 7 is 420. 20 times 5 is 100, and 5 times 7 is 35. When you add them all up, the answer is 1,755. An easy way to break it down and put it together. Now we're getting tricky with number 13, multiplication, a three digit with a one digit. Let's see if you can follow along. Step one, multiply six times seven, and then regroup if necessary. Six times seven is 42. You put the two below the six and the four above the three to regroup. Six times three is your second step. Six times three is 18 plus four is 22. So you put the two under the three and the other two above the additional six. Now step number three is to multiply six times six and you'll add the carried over number. Six times six is 36 plus two is 38. 637 times six is 3,000,000.